what's going on guys so it's uh, been a little bit of a challenging week weather wise here's what's going on man we've had thunderstorms every single day and on top of that it's not like it's been mild winds to go with the thunderstorms no the winds haven't been favorable either i mean the kayak's just been sitting on the roof for days and days we've just been doing some work following up from icast we're gonna stay close so we're not going far that means inshore fishing uh we're probably just i'm gonna try to jig some flounder maybe in the morning maybe switch it up do some bottom fishing we'll keep some fish too Hopefully next week we'll get some good weather and be able to do some fun stuff. So um, yeah, let's get in the car, get everything loaded up for tomorrow, and we'll take it from there. We'll, we'll hit it at sunrise. All right, so we are fishing in the marsh today, doing some marsh life. Target's kind of flounder, speckled trout, redfish. It's blazing hot this morning. So uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. Turtle, what's going on, dude? Got something there. Ooh, baby. Big flounder. Oh yeah. <laughs> what a nice one. Solid, solid fish, man. Got a nice one there. Sick. Dude, he inhaled that jig. How awesome was that? Nice. Well, we got our new fancy little board there. So let's take a quick little measurement. He's green as shit still. Nineteen and a half. Nineteen. Nice, real nice. I'm gonna harvest this one. Things are going pretty well, I'd say. Been fishing for about 20 minutes. We got three fish, one legal one, two real dinky dinks. Very fun indeed. And this is a three eighths ounce blue water candy jig. They make pretty nice. I like their hooks. Make a pretty nice jig, man, for this stuff. Uh, nope. A little shorty. And these other fish are just like, you know, not even close. All right, so we got one flounder here. Uh, that's about it, really. We're gonna make a little move. One keeper and then, you know, a couple shorts. And now all the croakers and pinfish kind of came out. So do some other bottom fishing. So. Uh, not a bad start, uh, especially since I have no idea, since I have no idea what I'm doing. That's not bad. Uh, I'll take. It. Maybe maybe when I figure out what I'm doing, it's gonna help. So, all right, jig jigging sucked for the rest of the tide, but here's officially round two. We got ourselves about I don't know two dozen mud crabs, a couple fiddlers. Let's drop them. Let's see what we get. We got our bottom sweeper. We got our small spinning reel. Let's get busy here. Let's see what we can do. Gotta get, you gotta get dirty. I like it. You gotta get dirty. So we're fishing some underwater rocks on like 15 feet. Let's see what happens. All right. Oh, a drum on that or sheep's head maybe. What do we think? What do we think? Is that gonna be a sheep? Oh, red. Sweet. All day. Good size to eat too. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, sir. 19 and a half. That's the size you want to eat, man. Nice. Usually snipping like corner of their face, right? So they get some scent going. There you go. That's your presentation. Striped 
nice striped bandit. Good size sheep to, to eat, you know. And we got our fancy new board. I'm gonna tell you about this thing in a second. Okay, that's an 18 and a half inch sheep set, probably like four pounds, three, four pounds. It's a good size sheep. All right, it's time to go. I got some cells popping up, man. This Carolina weather, I don't know what it does. I know I got some stuff coming from the west, and you know, we're southwest, so we're gonna pull the plug right now and get out of here. Cell passed, which I dodged. We got a uh, keeper red. Uh, two sheep's head and the flounder, and it's uh, not even lunchtime yet, but not bad. Yeah, we pulled the plug at the right moment there. I really got lucky when I pulled the plug there. All right, let's catch up when we're back in the kitchen. Uh, let's get started. That wasn't a bad day overall. All right, these guys right here, I might have said it before, these are called ribbons. Like, that's what the old school term for these things are. Uh, these make great fluke bait. You know, you can strip these up. I've heard they're great for sashimi. I've never tried these, these ribbons. Um, the larger flounder tend to have a, a more meaty one that's not going to fall apart. They do have kind of a weird texture when you cook it. couple things, right? So a couple of people have sent me recipes to try. I definitely want to try redfish on the half shell. However, it, however, the weather's really just not gonna, it's gonna take me at least an hour to, you know, set up the grill out there and get coals. I'm gonna get hit more with more rain this, this evening. So um, we're probably just gonna do something real simple. So that's your sheep's head filet. Um, I did a video way back when with Dan, sushi every day. And uh, he always starts his filet under here. There's a flap so you don't have to force your knife through the scales. This is all ribs over here. Cook this fish whole. You've got some meat here to work through. But other than that, it's a pretty easy fish to filet. Meat comes off of it pretty, pretty easily overall. All right, so tonight we're gonna make a sweet and sour deep fried fish. Uh, a little backstory. We used to come back cod fishing in like 2007 from 2009 in the winter off Block Island. It was like minus, <laughs> minus 10 degrees out, all that t terrible stuff. And there was a Chinese food joint that we used to bring some of our cod fillets and they were used to give us this sweet and sour fried cod. And it was amazing. Basically like your takeout sweet and sour chicken, you know, the little, the little dish of sweet and sour sauce on the side, you would dip it. Oh, it was awesome. So uh, let's see if we can recreate something almost as good. All right, just chunking up our fish, prepping it for a deep fry. In here, I've got my flounder, my red fish, and my sheep's head. It's gonna be my job to tell the difference when I'm eating it. First thing we did here is we rolled our fish in some cornstarch. Now we're gonna make the batter. Basically, it's a mixture of vegetable oil, water, flour, a little bit of baking powder to get a, a rise out of the batter. And that's about it. We're gonna just, you know, do a couple of different, um, we're gonna add a little bit of soy sauce to it and a little bit of um, Worcestershire. So we're frying our fish, we've got some peppers on the side. Now, yes, you can put pineapple. It's my sweet and sour sauce. I'm about to get it warmed up. And uh, yeah, man, fried fish, oh, it's gonna be good. Definitely calling for this right now. I'm feeling it. All right, there it is. So that's your fried fish. That's your sweet and sour sauce. Here's a shortcut. Next time, just order an order of like fried wonton and pork fried rice from your from your Chinese food joint, and man, you're gonna eat like a king. So you got, you, you fry your fish, just get the fried rice and the sweet and sour sauce, and you know, if you want some fried wontons or something like that, I'm telling you, it's amazing. I don't know, that's always how I used to get sweet and sour chicken from the Chinese food joints. And it's as good as I remember it being, man. All right, that's amazing. We're sitting on the, that's amazing, I can't. <laughs> it's like the greatest street food Fried fish, I don't know, it's amazing. I could eat that all the time.
Yeah, like I said, next time we just get a side of fried rice. The other thing I want to talk about, so I've introducing a new partner to, to Elias V Fishing the channel. This is the catch board. Uh, you saw me using that in today's video. I got introduced to this company at iCast. And we were talking back and forth. They sent me their 32 inch board. I call it the inshore board. Uh, they call it the walleye board. Um, but, uh, you know, basically it's a very solid, all aluminum, American made measuring stick. So the kayak guys, this is really relevant to the kayak guys. I know the guys that are kind of casually watching this channel, this is not relevant to you. I understand this. But to the guys that fish on the kayak, if you want a very good quality measuring device, either for tournament purposes or you just want to have something, it's like having a fancy set of spoons at home versus, you know, the Walmart spoons. Here's your fancy measuring device. Um, it won't break. Awesome for inshore measuring. And we're working on a big game to, uh, board also to measure big striped bass, to measure big redfish for tournament and for recreational purposes. Links are in the description. They are not retailing to anybody right now, so I'm just going to be their first kind of pilot and we're going to start working on their new board. It comes in three different colors. This is the black one over here. Um, they make some brighter colors for the nighttime anglers too. I'm proud to be selling this product. This is a very nice product. I really like it. So uh, yeah, man. So now I have to tell you what fish I think the, is the best out of these three prepared like that. Number three is the flounder actually. Flounder is a great fish, but it and it fries well, but it's too delicate and a little too grainy and soft for this kind of cooking. It's still good, don't get me wrong. Number two is the sheep's head. The sheep's head's a little, it's definitely more firm than the flounder. Great fish, but the redfish actually has the toughest texture that provides like the best like, it doesn't have as much give and it's not mushy. Flounder gets a little mushy. The sheep's head's somewhere in between, but the redfish, you know, it can really withstand the high heat oil cooking, and it goes great with the sweet and sour sauce. So, um, that's my attempt at recreating the Block Island Cod Days. All three are really good like this, so you can do this with almost any fish. You know, the saying is, any fish fried is pretty good. I'd say that holds true to about 90% of the fish. So, um, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, you got comments, questions, leave them in the description below. Yeah, that's it for this this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Great stuff. Save those sweet and sour sauces from your Chinese food joint and give this a try. I'll see you guys later.